Hey everybody, Richard Knives here, your favorite knife tuber, episode number 153. And today I want to show you all of my Barlows. I got them all in slips here. I'll show them to you one at a time. This is uh, all the Barlows in my collection. And here at the end of this video, I want you to stick around because uh, I have something cool to show you. And one of those things where it, I do a G away. You know what I'm talking about? If I say the word, you know, it, the bots come out and things like that at night. You know what I'm saying? So let's not get into that. But wait till the end. I got something cool for you. We hit 3,000 subscribers uh, just a few weeks ago. So, hey, thank y'all. That's pretty awesome. I uh, never thought I'd be at 3,000, but that's cool. Appreciate everybody's support. Thank you for watching my videos. If you actually like this video, hit the like button. It looks like this. And a little subscribe button right down there. It's the red one. Uh, share it to your friends, your family, mom and them, and uh, your baby mama, your crush, and uh, your barber. Anyways, let's get right into it. Let's look at it. What do we got here? I got Barlow's in slips. Let's start over here, left to right, like we're reading a book. And um, if it commenced to raining, we'll just go right through it. Who cares? I'm in Texas right here, and we're about to have a hizzacane, or a tropical rainy thing. I don't know. Anywho, this slip is from SD Leatherworks. Sarah, she did a great job on this. This was a gift from her. I didn't even know. I didn't buy it or nothing. She just straight gave it to me. Look at that. It has stars in there. A Texas. Heck yeah, that's what I'm about right there. It's got the American flag on the back. Her stamp right here. The maker's mark. A lot of tooling. Cool slip. Let's check it out. This is a honking big old thing. For a honking big old knife let's check it out this ooh, baby this is a remington it has a sterling silver shield and i believe it's set on the gc 93 platform this is the cowboy you can see the etch right there remington trademark this is made by gc and that thing is flippity huge look at that but some of the things I like most about this, and this is my designated steak knife. Because, I mean, look at it. it. It bloody looks like a steak knife. You know what I'm saying? It's really thin. Love the saw cut on it. I'm a big fan of saw cut, especially in this flavor. Uh, kind of reminds me of old timer. You know what I'm saying? Back when I was a kid, everybody had an old timer. I did. I really like that. And that's bone, not Delrin. It's beautiful. It's about as good as you can get saw cut. I, I'm pretty sure of it. Love that bullet shield. This has half stop. It's a little, got a little patina on the bolsters here. See, it ain't all shined up. I actually use it. I don't really carry this one just because it's so bloody big in my pocket it's like a brick in your pocket it's really long but i do use it like i say steak dinners poke chops things of that such nature and whatnot long pull swedge nice looking clip point this actually looks like something a cowboy would carry let's look at that tank stamp what's it say it says, and I'm blind here, Remington UMC, made in USA. USA over here. America. Brass pins. Brass liners. Man. She's a looker. I'm telling you. Like I said, I think this is on the 97 pattern. Uh, the pull on it is probably a four and a half five very snappy half stop snappy centering strike no one run through that pitch right down the middle she's a big one like it oh that's close gotta be careful with that let's do this man i don't know i just work here i just i just work here this one next this is my Yellow Rose 86. I got this slip from Beard and Owl. 
has a Texas on it. Once I seen this thing, he showed it on his Instagram and uh, it wasn't stitched yet or nothing. And he was making it, kind of showing it off. And as soon as I seen it, uh, I had the knife. So I was like, I gotta have that. It just done really nice. I like this one. This one right here. See, look, look at the match on that. Huh? Even cooler, this guy's a Texas, but even cooler about this knife. I love this knife, and here's the reason why. Uh, first, Duty's Daggers had bought this knife, and he kept it pristine clean for a long time. He's got it teenered up now, but uh, as soon as I seen that, man, I wanted one. I was on the hunt for it, and uh, actually, I seen three or four of them that I was going to buy, and I really didn't. Uh, just because, I don't know, I didn't need it. But then when I seen this one, I needed it. So a feller done this to it, kind of modded it. It says, don't mess with Texas. Has a snake on it. Man, are you kidding me? I seen that and I said, that's mine. It belongs right here in Texas with me. Had to have it. This bad boy is insane it's got the etch on it. it says right there yellow oh god i can't even read it yellow rose it has a texas and the rose on there and patina like like a that's a lot of tina love it it's seen a stake or two itself i love carrying this knife just the ergos on this one are great it's almost like a natural chore right here for your finger to just rest. Um, I, I can't say enough about this thing. It has the brass liners. The yellow bone is just gorgeous to me. Spear point. It has a uh, half stop. Long pull. Swedge. I'm a sucker for that. GC's uh, spear point. With the long pull, I can't get enough of that. And these 86s, I'm going to tell you, this might be the best pocket knife that GC makes is these 86s. Uh, I don't know how popular of opinion that is, but it's mine. Look at the bone. The shield. There's not a flaw on this thing. Centering. Strike. Right down the middle. Love the fluting on these bolsters here. That looks really good. And just all the character in the world on this knife. You know what I'm saying? All the character in the world. I love carrying this. Uh, pride of ownership right here. I love this one. Next. This is another GC86. As uh, I bet you can tell by looking at the slip which one it is. I made this slip right here. It's a saw cut. And uh, let's see. Come on out there, boy. Yeah. This one is, is it Hemlock? Is that how you say it? I don't know. It's a spear point. I'm sorry, spear point. It's a clip point. You could tell, you know, by the way it is. And this one is a lot more pinchable. I believe it's more carryable than this one. More EDCable, more usability. This is the Blade Forms version. I'm on Blade Forms. I don't. I ain't a paying Blade Forms person. I'm a. I'm a lurker. But uh, I got this at an insane price. I thought I'd never own one because you get one of these bad boys, and uh, you're gonna be you forking over the the dollars, the dineros. You'll be forking them right over. This one right here, I got a insane price. I couldn't pass it up. Super proud to own this one. And walk and talk. Listen. Whew. That's right. That's done right. That's just about perfect. That's about a uh, five and a half, six pull. But stiff and just snappy centering you can't get no better centering mm -hmm. can't get no better not a gap anywhere 
beautiful brass. Beautiful saw cut. This is a light saw cut on there, but look, you can still see it real good. I love that red coming through on the black. That's freaking classy. Whoever come up with this is a g -g -g genius. Mm -hmm. She's got the teeners too. Look at there. Used. Loved. Got a spot there, but it's not rust. I love using these things. It's like a it's like a whole treat to use these. One of my favorite knives here. Easy. I just love how you can get right in there, pinch that blade, open it right up. Man. There she is. There's Barlow. This one right here, I don't know if it's really a Barlow, but we're going to call it a Barlow because this is my Jack Wolf Pioneer Jack. And uh, it's got the elongated bolster. It's not even really a bolster. It's like a faux bolster. I made this slip for it. Uh, see here, I kind of tried to match the angles. This, see here, here. This is a grid, a black grid leather. Anyway, here's the knife. This one, my old boy Randy Johnson, he souped this one up, put the stank on it. You see that? He nuked it. That's what we call it here. Looks like it been through an atomic bomb. Like a nuclear bomb is hit. And a hundred years later, this is what this knife is going to look like when you find it under the rubble. Looks so cool. Let's take you around. Love the angles Jack Wolf puts on their knives. Look at that. Love it. You can honest, honestly tell easily that this is like a sodbuster-ish pattern. Sodbuster being a case knife, but this is what he calls the Pioneer Jack. Love that blade shape. Look at the switch. The hand rub satin. Bam! And I don't know how I don't have scratches all over it because I use this one crazy. Love this thing. And this is solid. I'm talking about, listen, solid. I bet you I could chunk this off a building and it's fine. No kidding. I could yeet this thing across the whole yard into a tree. It's fine. Drop it on the cement. Who cares? Look at that. Love this thing, man. This is one that's gonna stay in my collection uh, ain't going nowhere. Especially since Randy done that for me. It was kind of sentimental to me. I'm going to keep that in. Love it. Here is another Jack Wolf. You could tell by the way that it is. This slip, I don't know what kind of leather this is. Some kind of shell. Beautiful. By, uh... <laughs> Northwoods Leather Co. Insane, beautiful. This is probably the prettiest slip I have. No kidding. Oh, hey, hold on. Come out of there, little feller. This is the uh, laid back, laid back Jack, I believe, from Jack Wolf Knives. And I call it a Barlow because look, it has the bolster. It's long. This is titanium, all titanium here. And I want to say that's rosewood. This is the first natural cover for a Jack Wolf knife. And you know me, Swaybacks, Warncliffs, uh, Tainers. I love the titanium with all the... Now this one ain't, ain't been nuked or nothing. This is just pocket carry. This is just wear and bloody tear. Love this one. This one's strong too. Walk and talk is like a freaking 10. Listen. These Jack Wolf knives were made to flip and use, man. I mean, you could sit on the shelf and look at it. Dang, that's pretty. But then you could take it off the shelf. Go outside and do some work with it. You're good to go. This thing is a beast. 
love that the same as the other pioneer jack on that blade finish that's a hand rub uh, satin beautiful s90v man ain't a flaw on this thing bam love it next this one here this is a epoch slip it's one of them uh what do you call it a casket slip a casket or a uh you know has a cowboy on it and uh that looks pretty cool if you ask me love it and here we have the essential quintessential barlow the tc barlow the 15 pattern from gc clip point long pull swedge freaking genius has a tc on here that is classy that jig bone and i believe this is a amber peach peach amber jig bone something something or other another thing stuff look at that that looks like one piece of metal beautiful all stainless this uh is just gorgeous man I mean, it's, it's got the TC on both sides. That just, whichever way you want to turn it. She's a looker. I'll tell you, what's center look like? Well, there she is. Center on up. The pull on this is probably a five and a half, six. Snappy. And she's shark. I'm telling you, this one, I keep that thing on me. She's shark fruit roll-up sticky cherry flavor love carrying this thing and uh one of my favorite knives i don't see this going anywhere either it's really awesome i'm blessed to have this uh, early in my uh collecting i guess you'd call it um never thought i'd have one of these but here it is right here in my hand i'm looking right at it uh that's a blessing praise the lord all right, last one. This one was a gift. Yes, this one was a gift from uh, Bleach Troy. And look at the slip on that. Came with it. Beautiful slip. He does the coolest design of a slip that I know of. To me, it, it just doesn't... A, a knife slip does not get better than this. I mean, look. The stitching, that just looks cool. The stamping, it, I don't think anybody does it better. Here we go. This is a Case Barlow in uh, Bone Stag. Look at that. Beautiful. I couldn't believe he gave this to me out of nowhere. He didn't tell me, hey, I'm going to give you this or nothing. It just showed up. That is very cool. This community is awesome. And, uh, you know, Troy, he's a, uh, a knife feller too. Not just a leather feller. He's like me. He's like us. Real, real dude. He's one of us. Love this thing. This is the stainless, the true sharp. Barlow, clip point, single blade. That's how you want it. Very cool, very cool knife. Half stop, snappy. Anywho, there's all my Barlows. Got them all right here. Now, if you stayed this long, I want to go ahead and thank you. If you have stayed this long and you're watching this, I want you to uh, type in the comments, STROP, S-T-R-O-P, S-T-R-O-P, because that's going to put you in this G away that I'm about to do. And I'm going to show you what we're going to give away for 3,000 subs. This right here. This is a strop made by me. Uh, has a handmade stamp on it. This is acacia wood paddle strop. Mm, yeah. Look at the grain in that. Is that not beautiful? I sell these dudes. But uh, I want to give this one away to some lucky viewer. 
and a subscriber. So if you're not subscribed and you type in Strop, go ahead and hit that sub button. It's the red one right down there, like I always say. Because if you are subscribed and you say the word Strop, you have a chance to win this. Not only this, with the eight ounce veg tan leather, sanded, nice and neat. It's a beautiful straw. Uh, you'll also get, let's do this. This slip right here, this is a Pueblo, blue Pueblo. And um, just in line with all the Barlows here, I got like this bolster on here, see? It's got the lines here, uh, space gray um, thread. So she's pretty. You'll get that too. And you'll also get a spider co. You'll get all three of these things. This one was given to me by my boss and said, hey man, this is a little bit too big for me. Maybe you could give it in a giveaway. So hey, you even get a sticker. So I'll do that. I'll put this right here in the giveaway. This is the, what version is this? It tells you right here. Mm, this is the Persistence. Let's take it out here and look at it. Oh, there you go. It's all blacked out and ready for you. Let's see. Ooh, she's a big one. Good God. I bet you that'd do some art. Liar a lot. Centering right down the middle. Good action. You'll get that. You'll get all three of these things. Type in the word strop. And uh, like I said, don't forget to tell your friends, your family, your mom and them, your baby mama, your crush, your barber about Rick's or Knives. And uh, share this video, like this video, do all the things and the stuff that help the algorithms and the and the the stuff and things. Anyways, hey, love every one of y'all. Thank y'all for being on my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for 3,000 subs. And this is Richter, out.